Welcome to Absurdity Today. I'm Juliana Forlano. Tropical storm Debbie drenched Florida, knocking out power and causing widespread flooding. The governor declared a statewide emergency, which he has been trying to do ever since that federal judge put the kibosh on his voter suppression initiative. A USGS study reveals that sea levels on the East Coast are rising up to four times faster than anywhere else in the world. Bank of America moved to capitalize on this news and is now offering climate deniers subprime loans for beachfront property. Oreo cookies took a pro-gay rights stand on Monday when they posted a picture of this rainbow Oreo on Facebook with a caption, proudly supporting love. This socially progressive stance should not be surprising coming from Oreo, who for years has been the symbol for interracial three ways. That is like my favorite joke of the week, I think. If you don't get that, find the person you know with the dirtiest mind and ask them about it. Mexican drug and gang violence is escalating sharply in areas that were once considered safe. The main drug cartel responsible is called the Zetas. They're not to be confused with the Zetas in the U.S., whose drug pushing primarily focuses on spiked punch and date rape drugs. Meanwhile, Mexico's Board of Tourism is putting out ads and trying to skirt around the issue of growing violence. Mexico is fun! Sexy! Oh my god, is that gunshots? Bad choice! Bad choice! Come to Mexico, where even our gunfire is set to laugh and hate us. And you can get a cheap kidney near the border. The classic study that said females are more picky than males when selecting mates may be wrong. This is according to two research scientists and that guy at the bar whose girlfriend is totally flirting with that doofus. Another new study suggests that for men, Gazing at a woman with your eyelids lowered makes you look like a more appealing candidate for a short-term fling. It also has the added benefit of blurring out your target's muffin top, wart, mustache, Adam's apple? Careful. McDonald's is constructing a huge temporary restaurant in London for the Olympic Games. The restaurant will be able to seat 1,500 regular diners or three Americans. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. On Monday, the Supreme Court handed down several verdicts, which I guess they decided while we were all at that barbecue over the weekend. America? The court upheld part of the Arizona law that lets police check the immigration status of anyone stopped or arrested in the state who looks like they might be illegal. President Obama responded with some concern. In a statement, he said, no American should ever live under a cloud of suspicion just because of what they look like. He went on to add, it's a horrible way to live, believe me, I know. Thanks, birthers. The court struck down other parts of the Arizona law that would have allowed for warrantless arrests and would force immigrants to carry papers at all times. Justice Anton Scalia delivered a scathing anti-immigration opinion. Scalia. Scalia. Is that, is that Native American? Okay, new golden rule. Do unto others as you would have preferred was done unto your own ancestors. <laughs> Jan Brewer was pleased that what she considers the heart of the law will be maintained. Yes, the shriveled up Grinch-like heart of it, which of course will be pulled over and checked for immigration violations because of its darkened color. The court also struck down a Montana campaign finance law that sought to curb unlimited corporate contributions to political campaigns. When reached for comment, democracy said, hey, this noose feels pretty tight. With this vote, the court upholds the Citizens United ruling, which says that limiting corporate donations is a limit on free speech. Meanwhile, in Middleborough, Massachusetts, they're working to pass a law to limit free speech. According to the referendum, if you're caught swearing in public, you are subject to a $20 fine to which your immediate response will likely get you another fine. To avoid the fine, may I suggest turning to the semi-swears. Frig. Frig you. Or go frig yourself. Instead of asshole, try the equally satisfying douchebag. It's very popular in Chicago. For a more cultured effect, you may simply want to call your rival an anus. Instead of taking the Lord's name in vain, try cheese and rice. 
but with gusto. Cheese and rice! Or go lighter. There's H-E double hockey sticks, shoot, dang, gosh darn, although these will run you the risk of sounding like a total idiot. Darn right, darn right, darn right. You can try going foreign. Scheiße, fanculo, puta madre, klutze, merda, bastardo, picazzo five, figa de buttana. Okay, fine, I just happen to know a lot of the Italian ones. When all else fails, you can just make up words. This guy takes it in the gustocus. Express yourself and avoid that fine. Finally, the court upheld the constitutionality of the individual mandate in President Obama's health care bill. When the announcement came, Twitter lit up faster than Clarence Thomas at a secretary luncheon. John Boner, and yes, it's Boner, B-O-E-H spells bow, Boner, vowed to repeal the entire Affordable Care Act. But Republicans only have a majority in the House, not in the Senate, which for now renders this Boner impotent. I'm Juliana Forlano. This is Absurdity Today. If you like what you see, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. I'm Absurdity Girl on Twitter. You can subscribe via email by sending a quick note to us at absurditytoday at gmail.com. Share this segment with your friends, please. If you'd like to watch back episodes, find them online at absurditytoday.com. And finally, leave us a comment. We love hearing back from you. See you next week.